What's going on guys, T-Dunks here, back with another Knights and Dragons video for ya. And uh, the Fusion Boost War has ended guys, so pretty exciting war here for me. Uh, like I said in my last video, I uh, was making a top 25 run. There was a little bit of a change up. Uh, we ended up switching guilds, staying in the same alliance, but we ended up switching guilds. So we ended up all moving over to Imperial Guardians. I was in Legends of War, but... um. We ended up switching over to Imperial Guardian, so um, we'll go ahead and we'll go through it. I'll start off from the beginning here. So, coming in first place is only the best with 6.4 million, uh, 17 battles, so really doing a great job, really deserving that uh, first place. Also, um, another Death Knight Empire guild coming in second, so with 16 mores. Uh, danger with two, uh, two mil, and then uh, Forsaken with uh, 1.8. Secret Society came in fourth with uh, 1.8 almost, and then Deviants who were our top 10 guild that was running for top 10. We were running for top 25. Uh, they took fifth, so congrats to them. They took uh, fifth with 1.7. Uh, you two easy coming back and uh, getting back into the top 25 light here with uh, 1.6 mil. They end up taking six. Verta Swerve took seventh with uh, a solid 1.5 mil. Beastmaster took uh, one perfect. So 10 and 0. Congrats to those guys. They ended up uh, with 1.5 mil. And then uh, BBT here with uh, nine fights, eight wins, one loss. Uh, with again 1.5 mil, so pretty close right there, guys. Um, between seven to nine. Uh, Holy hot mess coming in tenth with uh, 1.3, and then uh, starting off uh, 11 through 25, Guild of Legends coming in 11th with 1.3. So close right there, only 40,000 separating 10 and 11. So a little bit of a heartbreak for the Guild of Legends, but you know. It's not too bad. Epic Knight came in 12th with just uh, just over 1 mil. Justice League coming in 13th uh, with just barely over 1 mil again. 14th was the Champions Guild. 15th was Fallen Angels. Uh, 16th was the Dark Nuts Rises. Pretty funny name there. I've actually never seen these guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but this might actually be the first top 25 uh, appearance here. Coming in 17th is the Teplar's 13th Legion. They went 8-0, so congrats to them. Putting up big points with not as many uh, wars as you know some of the other guys, so good job to them. AL4, which I also think is a newcomer. Um, a lot of these guilds that got top 25 I really haven't seen before, so... Um, but congrats to them. They took 18th. 19th is Aesthetic Eternity. And then coming in 20, you already know, is Imperial Guardians, guys. So this is who I rolled with. We ended up putting in 11 wars, pulling out uh, just over uh, 900,000. And then um, coming after us, just 2K behind us. So really close there, guys. Like 2K. Um, some people can put up in just one, you know, four pack of energy. So, really close right there, you know. So, they got 21st just right behind us, and that's Pinoy Troping Lasing. I don't know if that's correct pronunciation. If somebody is watching from the guild, tell me because I never know how to say this guild. And then, uh, 22nd is Sons of Vikings. 23rd is Bunch of Jerks. I think that they are also a new guild, so congrats to them. 24th is Italia, and uh, rounding out the top 25 uh, is Transcendent Knights, so congrats to them. We'll look at who finished just out of the top 25 here in a second and by how much. So Transcendent Knights took 25th with um, 890,000, so... Beast Mode Gods took 26 with 868, so just uh, over 20,000, 22,000 separated them, but uh, good job, you know, 
congrats to all the guilds that made top 25 and everybody who made a uh, you know good runs but now I will go over the breakdown of how we did so like I said we took 20th guys we ended up going five and six here uh, I'll go ahead and I'll break down each each war here guys so starting off we start off against top team that's who we drew right away we ended up putting up uh, 162 thousand points guys this is unreal for me because as most of you guys know um, I came from a top 250 guild top 250 guilds this war had 230,000 total to make top 250 guys we had half over half of that two-thirds of that in the first war so that's insane for me I've never been around anything like this so uh, we started off with top team putting up uh, 162,000 and then uh, we went up against Smallville which is another top 25 guild they didn't make it this time but you know another great guild that you know people recognize we did 270,000 there we made a push a really hard push we uh, knew going into that that we were gonna push extremely hard in that one to try and put a statement down and then uh Mene Domini I believe was actually a rogue war where uh you know we had just gotten out of the war with Smallville and there was a little bit of an accident somebody uh declared or somebody got a hold of somebody's phone and declared but it's all good and then we uh went up against Danger Rising which is Triple X Dangerous Feeder Guild guys and uh they really laid it on us. We really didn't do too much. We only did 18k there. And then uh, we went up against the Dark Nuts Rise. And we put up 52k. I know that that was a close one. We just ended up losing at the very end there. And then uh, we went up against the Undertaker, guys. I, we, I actually did a uh, Guild Spotlight on these guys a couple weeks ago. Or this last week. So we beat those guys. Put up almost 170,000. We were also trying to do right there a 200k push also but uh, we fell a little bit short on that and then our next matchup was with the D and uh, we got 120k and then here it goes we drew danger so danger was in second place at this time guys we as soon as we drew them we were like kind of like damn so we really didn't do much against them uh, this was really late at night. It was at like 3 in the morning my time. I was still up. Um, I only slept for about 2 and a half to 3 hours this war. So um, we ended up not doing too much. And then the Immortals, same thing. We uh, we drew them and then they they jumped out to a huge lead, guys. Like Within the first 10 minutes, they were already up like 25,000 on us. So we kind of just stopped and said, you know, whatever. We're not going to push it. And then uh, Dawn of the Dead, we put up 60k, and then we round out the day with uh, Sildefil, Solidifinals, whatever, guys. They were right on the bubble for top 50, so they pushed pretty hard. They ended up getting over, like, 60k, so congrats to them, guys. So this was really a great experience. I loved it. Uh, it's really nice to see how a top 25 guild runs, guys. I uh, really enjoyed enjoyed being here, and I'll run through the points, guys. Some of these points are huge. I mean, the Sentinel put up putting up 115k by himself. That is nuts. I put up 50, almost 53k by myself. I was the second highest scorer um, in this war, so that was pretty awesome. And then, uh, yeah, guys, tw this was a great experience for me. I'd love to do this again, especially with a great group of guys. Like, you know, we had uh, a lot of people from Legends of War and then obviously people from uh, uh, Imperial Guardians. So shout out to DeWidley and uh, Daniel and John and Matt and everybody uh, for getting me into this, this guild. Uh, I, I loved it. I enjoyed every minute of it, guys. And also, I owe a shout out to Ace. So there you go, Ace. And uh, yeah, guys. I mean, if anybody has the opportunity to make a top twenty-five run, do it. It's cool to see how they operate, like head counts, and you know, the way that everything works, guys. So yeah, really great war for me. Um, I got a couple other episodes I plan on putting out this week. Uh, so go ahead and stick around. Uh, check in. You know, probably daily. I'm plan on putting out quite a few videos this week guys but uh until then this is t-dunk signing off